Hey guys, good morning. Brent Abel here, Web Tennis. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about the backhand slice, chip and charge, return a serve off of the second serve. This point here, yours truly, playing against the great Tom Smith. I did end up losing this match. Uh, and uh, But this, this point will give you an idea of really kind of how this chip and charge slice works is you know, he's already missed his first serve, and I've already told myself, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, and and take this second serve and just play it like an approach shot. And even though I don't know if he's serving down the tee, if he's serving to my body or serving out wide, I'm still going to commit by, as the toss goes up, really, and you can see I'm already starting to step forward, trying to get on balance and I'm going to move forward and just see what I get. And the one, the one problem serve that uh, I would have to deal with here, being in this close, uh, that might actually stop the chip and charge is if he serves right here, deep serve to my body, to where I can't get away from it. And on this particular serve, as it ends up, it's uh, it's out to my side. And and here's the first thing I want you to think about here. I want you to look at my ready position with the hands, okay? They're not way out in front. Um, the arms aren't tense. And I'm actually thinking right now, really soft grip tension. I don't want to be squeezing because the first thing I want to do to react to what it, where wherever the direction of serve is, either you know to, to my forehand side, uh, to my body, or out here the backhand, is I want to react just with my shoulders. And so the first thing I do is turn the shoulders and try to get sideways. And again, I don't really take the racket way far back. It's just more, it's just kind of laid back there slightly. But I, the, the, the key for me here is really getting, number one, getting, getting committed to the shoulder turn. And then number two, trying to figure out what's the spacing, what's the spatial distance away from the path of this serve that I need so that I can actually move through it as an approach shot. I'm not thinking so much here that I want to be able to set up and just crush this thing. Actually, I want to set up so I can glide through it. And this one works out really well. It ends up being a, a kind of a short angled chip, not a, not a drop shot. Uh, but, you know, you can, you can see where, you know, Tom is. He hasn't really come in that far from his baseline. And right here, right now, I'm thinking lob. I'm thinking the only shot he's got, he's pulled out wide, the ball is down low, is going to be a lob, and I'm and I'm looking for it. And uh, I, you know, he ends up just kind of putting up high on my backhand. But here's what I want you to really work on. Let me take this back. Uh, number one is once you've decided, all right, second serve, I'm coming in, and you got to make a firm commitment. This is not something where you kind of see the shot you hit. And then move in. This is number one. It's soft hands on the grip. Number two is going to be shoulder commitment. Turn, get that spacing, and then as you play it, move through the ball so it plays an approach shot. And depending on where you play it, you know, my experience tells me this is going to be a lob. Uh, yeah, might not be one, of course, but I'm starting to, to go through kind of a process of elimination. I've hit this ball. Now I'm kind of figuring out, all right, what can he realistically do with this ball, depending on where he's at, depending on where I'm at. And I'm going through kind of a process of, el of elimination. And I'm really just kind of down to lob, all right? It, it sort of ends up as a short lob. I, that was probably his intention. Just never got by me. But um, there you have it. So any questions, any feedback, any comments, I want to hear from you right below the video. Let me know what's on your mind. Make it a great day out there. If I can reach the stars 
Love I have. 